So you rotate it, and then it will. Oh. 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 Subjects are alive. All right. That's kind of cool. That is pretty cool. You should get off the thing. I was having a hard time getting off okay. of it. And I forgot I didn't have my sword. Are we gonna try and hit all of these thingy mobs, or are you just gonna try and do the puzzle? I don't really care. What should I do? I want you to try and hit them all. I think there might be cool stuff in them. You do? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. Ah, uh, come on. It's fun. Really, all I'm seeing is just these test subjects. Oh. I don't think there's anything in you know. these. No, not really. That sucks. I think it's cool. Oh. I like those guys. They remind me of uh, the dead space creatures. Yeah, the necromorphs? Yes. All right, so... What did you just call me? <clears throat> oh, sorry. Uh, necromorphs. That's right. That's necromorph to you. Sorry about that. It, so, um, basically, I can turn this. Well, let's see where the next one is first. Oh, maybe we're supposed to push it over there. <clears throat> like this way. Well, where's the next one? There's one over here. You think so? See, yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. So, we could move this. Wait, oh, hey. Oh, look, I think we're going to have to push that into that. Well, right? Look. Like, put the laser in there? Yeah, it's glass, so we're going to have yeah. to shatter that glass. Yeah. So, maybe it has to be like that. Yeah. At first, and then, so how am I going to get one from there over to there? Well, I think that the one you found might have to be the one to go over here. Can Jilly show you what Jilly means? Yeah, do you mean like this? Yeah, can I, can I have the controller? Well, the problem is that when it hits these, I have to fight oh. them. Well, why don't you fight that guy? Why don't you fight those guys, and then I'll show you what I was thinking. Okay. I was thinking and I was stinking. Here you go. There's very particular controls <laughs> to rotate it and to move it. You see them? Oh. See, it's not easy. I know you thought that I was just being dumb. There's a guy coming. Eh. Help. Help. Well, you wouldn't hand me the controller. Do you want to just tell me what you're thinking? Yeah. Because... I have to... I basically have to get ammo again here. Okay. Just a second. Okay. Well, I don't know where to go to get ammo. I think it was up. Unless you can press that thing next to the door. Well, I can rocket them. Good. Turn around. Can you tell me what that thing you could press when near the door was? Yeah, that's to put the fusion cell in once we get it. Oh, okay. So, can you go back to that thing you were working on? So, I want you to make it so that the light is hitting that wall over there. Way over there? Yeah. Okay. There you go. And then... That wall? Yeah. And then I want you to let go of that. I want you to go to the other one. This one here? No, not that one. The other one. Okay. The one in front of the glass. And I want you to move it to the laser beam. Okay. Okay. Uh, but you're going to want to move it, like, up over here more. I will, but... Like this? Yeah, like, go forward more. <laughs> yeah, like, go up. There you go. And keep going. Forward. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Okay, now try to move it so that the laser hits the glass now. I see, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So now I can work with this one. Yes. I hadn't thought of it that way. That was a great point, Jill. Thank you. Ten I out come of ten. up with good ideas sometimes. Every once in a while we all get one, right? Yeah. Hey, we didn't even need to use the hint. That's trout. What? Uh, that's did you say that's trout? That's trout. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what are you blathers? <laughs> that's trout. Sometimes at work, when I try to say things to people, it comes out completely wrong. And it'll be like, instead of saying, okay, I'll be right back, and I'll go get that for you, it'll be more like, I'll be go get that right back. What in the world? And then I say, I'm sorry, and then I walk away. Why do you walk away? Because I like to think that if they think that I have some sort of mental disability, maybe they'll give me more money. Wow. 
That's true. So, do you have any idea where the next one should be going? My idea right now is to just deal with one or two of these test subjects in the meantime. You have to turn it. Because I can't get... I can't really deal with, like, n avoiding all these. Uh-huh. I'm having a bit of an issue with that, so I just wanted to take care of one or two of these. Sorry, I was thinking about it, because then this one is here. Ooh! So I'm, what I'm trying to do is get that to face over here. And the controls are kind of... Oh, look, kinda... there's that one right there behind you. Yeah. yeah. You're supposed to get it there. So, here, let me let me show you what Wait, I... Wait, no, think. see, there's one there, too. Oh... I want to be okay. able to. I want to be able to do it too, Jill. I'm yeah. not. I'm really not stupid. Well, it's just that I have a hard time getting I, it to turn. I think you're getting it in a good position for what jellies were thinking too. I think you just have to pull it back a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, because what I'd like and to do. You're gonna want to get rid of that test subject next to you, I think, in order to get it to hit correctly. Otherwise, I could also just move this, can't I? Yeah, I think you're gonna want to turn that one around and get the laser to hit this one, so that it's <coughs> straight on to the thingamajig. Yes, I agree. Yes. That sounds agreeful. Basically like that. Yes, yeah. But I need to like get that. that. You need to get the laser over here. Yeah. Yeah, which I think you can do easy peasy lemon squeezy McGeezy. The problem is that the controls on how to actually turn it and move it are a little weird. Yeah, I was encountering that myself. So I was actually thinking about turning this. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah. Now, you could probably move this one to be over there to help if you want. Or you could move that one back. Yeah, actually. Not this one. The other one. Don't touch that one. Why? I could just turn this. Oh. Can I? Well, I guess you can. But look, it's not working. Oh, you might need to use every single one. I think you might. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing. Destroy him. <laughs> I'm guessing what will happen is Adam will say, the laser doesn't have enough power. The laser is full of ass power, and we need to give it more ass juice. Okay, Adam, that's weird. And then she has to take off her dress. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did work. I thought that they'd be like, you need to use every single redirector. What the hell is your problem? I don't know. You didn't play the game right. Dummy. Hey, there you, you got go. the fusion thing. Right. Success. Thank you, Adam. Eve, put that in your butt for safekeeping. <laughs> Take a picture while you're at it, Eve. It has a camera on the end of it, but you take a picture on the inside for me. It's it, very important to the mission. Is there something... Rumble will hate this question, I feel like, because even though it's a free speech platform, they don't seem to be a big fan of gay people. They don't seem to be a big fan of anything. Well, you know, there's some nice people on there, too. But I was going to say, is there anything that a girl does like that you're like, that's hot? Like, like a girl mannerism that you're like, you know what? I'm a fan of that. Like a sexual thing or just like a normal thing that girls do? Either one, and if it is a more adult-oriented one, try and keep it the PG-ish. Well, for like a normal thing that everyday girls do, something that I absolutely love is when they wear um, like those those tight leggings and then they have something like cinched on their waist to make their like waist look tiny. I don't know, I like that. I like the way their, like, butt looks, where it's, like, it's kind of like an hourglass figure type thing. I think that's hot. And also, sometimes when, like, girls change shirts in front of each other, like, when you, like, have to go to work and you just, like, change your t-shirt really quick and they, like, that you see your sport, their sports bra underneath, I like that. Did you hang out with a lot of people who didn't know that you were bi? Or did they know and just didn't care? Um... I think it was the first one. Really, they didn't know? Yeah, I think so. a lot of them didn't know. This facility to study Natibas. Or... Yes, they might have done, Lily. After all, knowing your enemy is often the first step towards defeating them. But this place seems more like a manufacturing facility to me. So she thinks they were manufacturing Natibas. Manufacturing something, yeah. Yeah. I think... I think they were manufacturing Natibas, but I don't know if that was intentional or not. So for a sexual thing that I like, now I'm going to try to keep this as PG as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, but something that I really like that girls do, and this tends to be on like Orange YouTube or something, is when they have a glass thing that they use to enjoy themselves, and then you can like see up into it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. As long as the person we're talking about is attractive. Yes. I mean, that's obvious. Is that like a, a given? 
Like yeah. for any of these things. Something else I like is I like um I like when girls eat food. <laughs> what? Okay. So you like when they sustain their life force? I don't know. I don't know why. It's not like I like I don't like seeing them, like, eat tons of food, like a weird gluttony fetish thing. I just okay. like when they're, like, enjoying something and are happy and they, like, eat something yummy and are like, yeah, this is delicious. I don't know. I think it's cute. I really like that. I hate when girls feel like they can't eat food. Now, when people overeat, I think that's a turnoff. And, like, you and I both have problems with that. Mm -hmm. We love food. We, we try our best to keep <clears throat> each other in check with Unfortunately, that Unfortunately, we enable each other sometimes. But... Sometimes we do. We I don't. will say that um, something that I really like I, yeah i agree a, a, a huge turnoff for me is girls who are so thin that it's unhealthy like yeah. it's like you they're can hurting see their themselves ribs, but like in a bad way and what i mean by that is not you suffer from an eating disorder uh -huh. like if you suffer from an eating disorder and you're doing your best to like get through life and stuff and fix it to me, i think that's tragic but at least you're trying to help right and there, I, there you miss something i wouldn't not be with someone where is it right there it's right. unable to hold more explosive shells but pooby i wouldn't not be with someone over that but like it makes me sad and i don't think it's hot uh-huh i have a bad feeling and the reason i say that is because there are girls who think it's sexy to be like america's next top model thin and i always thought it was just sad well you know there's some men who think it's hot too and sometimes that's where some of it kind of came from we're stuck not entirely men's fault obviously but i think it was a, a combination of what women think men thinks are hot what some men think is actually hot and then women bullying each other you know like right. there's this famous clip of america's next top model where tyra banks says to this girl who, by the way i hate tyra banks i hate her too but this girl can't be over like 130 pounds you know like she's a normal weight like she's healthy and she looks normal and isn't too skinny and tyra banks says to her how do you feel about being the only plus size model here? I'd say, how do you feel about being a bitch? And I think she was like a size eight or something, which is not plus size. I'm pretty sure plus size now is like size 14 and up, you know? Right. Well, also though, like some of the standards have changed, but I don't think that was ever a good standard. No, that one was ridiculous. And, and I think that's where a lot of eating disorders came from is like stuff like that in the 90s and early 2000s were basically like, if you didn't have your ribs showing, you were fat. Like, it used to be a thing where if you were a size double zero, you were accepted as beautiful. Yeah, and to me, um, this reminds me a little bit of things like, um, I need to get that shotgun, by the way. I don't mm -hmm. think I have that attachment yet, do I? I think that you have to get it from Lily. Right, and now that we got in our drone upgrade module, I don't know if you saw I picked that up. Oh, no, I, I didn't see that. I think that that'll help. Is there anything in here? What is this? I don't know. Is that where we came in? It might have been. No, it's not. What's, what does this do? Power is out. There must be a power supply somewhere. Thank you, Adam. Very cool. So I was going to say that with that, it reminds me of... Um... Can you crouch underneath the lasers? No, actually, I could just walk right through those. Oh, I thought they were going to hurt I guess because they're shining, but they're not on. Oh. Is this the power supply? The elevator should work now. I was going to say that with that, though, like, I always thought that that was sad. I was never a fan of that. And also, that's a problem I have, too, with um, Asia. Now, I know, and I have no problem saying this, because Asia, like, people in China and Japan and a lot of these other places, they're always calling us fat. There's contamination here as well. There should be a weakness. So, to me, it's like, well, if they can say this, I can say the opposite. There are people that are, like, unhealthily skinny. Like, yeah. really bad. And and it's encouraged there. Yeah, and, like, you're bullied. Like, I was watching a video of a girl who was saying, you know, that in um, Japan, I believe it was Japan, it might have been China, she was considered fat. Mm -hmm. And she must have only been 120 pounds, 130 yeah, yeah. pounds. Yeah, I saw a video like that, too, of a girl who was, like, literally like that, like 120 pounds at the most. Um, and she, you know, had... Uh, a little bit larger breasts and she said that whenever she goes back is home is this literally dead space it seems like it she says that when she goes back home to her asian parents house i don't know what denomination of asian they are denomination like a church <laughs> yeah. you mean like you don't know if they're like chinese taiwanese yeah i don't Japan, know what, what they Korean. were but i know they were asian and she said that every time she goes back there they like shame her for being fat now because she lives in america i wouldn't even go home and it's like she just has like enough weight on her to look like a normal girl like she looked like eve you know like 
tiny waist, but she had boobs and an ass, you know? Well, that's what's interesting to me. So something I saw in K-pop, like, because I really like some K-pop groups, mainly girl groups. Um, and I find the girls pretty, but I like the ones where you actually can tell they have meat on their bones, not the ones where yeah, they're being Yeah, like starved. Ryujin. Oh, I love Ryujin. Yeah, not the ones where they're being starved by their agency. Um, That's something I like about Itzy, is Itzy actually looks like they eat. Yeah, but like one, one thing I was going to say with that too is that like there are ones that are so small that they don't have breasts. Mm -hmm. Like that they, because uh, uh, people don't know this. I mean, you know this. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Adam's doing like a weird scan. I think not Wait, a lot so of people do know. Wait, so his scan can work though. now? I guess so. Um, I guess he fixed it. Basically, like if you don't have fat, you won't have breasts or a butt. Yeah, so it can stunt your growth and make you kind of like revert back to looking kind of childlike. Um, because you're, when you're a woman, your body goes into Girl shock and says, okay, well, we can't have children if we're starving to death. It's right, like a because, survival thing. Because you wouldn't be able to support the child or you'd die. Yeah, so you stop having periods. You stop, like, having breast tissue to be able to support holding milk in your breast because that's what they're for. You know, you stop having, obviously... It doesn't matter, Joe. You stop having, obviously, like, extra fat on your body because your body's eating its own fat. Mm -hmm. um, and you just kind of become a skeleton. And it's it. it's not cute, in, um, in my opinion. And I don't understand that, because I kind of think... Now, I'm not trying to be mean, and I'm not trying to make a stereotype here to Asian people at all. Do you see the vent? No. He said we can take a detour through the vent. Is it... Right. Oh, I don't know. Then he had it this way, so maybe it's over here. Maybe. But I do think that there are some people... Oh, unyawn. Altless of our air vent gate. A it's unyawn. It will definitely come in But handy. the Y is upside down. I do think that there's some people in that culture that like the idea of adult women looking like little girls. Um, and I think that's partially why some of the stigma of having to be extremely skinny comes up with that culture. Um, but I, I don't think it's everyone, obviously, but I do think it's a lot of people. And... Like, I, I don't know. I think that's kind of why they want girls to look super skinny and not have boobs or anything. Give me a second here, by the way, and I will answer that. But will you help me figure out where this event is? Yes. Can I play? Can Dilly try? Yeah. Try entering the code. Can you remember it? Yeah. Wow. You do know there's going to be it enemies works. around here. Here you go. Okay, you don't want to play anymore? No, I'm good. I just wanted to show you where I thought we should go. I didn't even see that, because when I walked by that, I didn't see a prompt pop up. Oh, I or... did, but I didn't want to bother you. Oh, you should have just told me. Okay. Well, what did you think about what I said? I think that what you're saying is dangerously close to what that dumb game developer said, that he said that people want like their women to look like little girls. No, I don't think that all people do. I'm just thinking that like some... There's some cultures where I think that that's more universally accepted. As a beauty standard? As a beauty standard, yes. Not in like a... I don't think it's like, oh, all of the men in Asia are peds and they want little girls who are underage. I don't think that. I think that they think that looking young like that is beautiful. Um, and I think that becomes unhealthy in beauty standards towards women. I don't think that they're peds or anything. I just think that they probably should change their beauty standards into being something a little bit more healthy, you know? There are people, though, who are pedophilic, I will say. Like, for example, there are, like, weird... Like, when it is weird to me is when it's like, we made this girl, she's 5,000 years old, but she has the body of a 10-year-old, but look, she's in a bikini. I completely to me, agree. that's where I'm like, look, you... Here's the thing. Now, people go on Twitter and they, like, really attack this and shame this. If, if you are looking at that... I'd much rather you look at hentai of that than go find a kid and mm. mess a kid up. Uh -huh. But I still think that it's messed up. And and I think that the only exception to me of someone has the body of a child and it's okay is when someone has the mind of an adult, they might have the body of a child because of, like, stunted growth. Like, for example, like, there are people who have, um, like, the short person Yeah, syndrome. little people. I think they're called like, little people. A lot of them have more, like, childlike bodies. I don't yeah. think that they deserve not to find happiness. You know, yeah, like, that's wrong to me for, like, if, if there was a man dating a little person. Yeah. 
I think it would be wrong to be like, you're a pedophile. Yeah, I think that's wrong too. And there's a lot of people like that. There's this one cute girl I follow um, who she looks like she has the um, the figure of like probably a eight, five to eight year old range, you know, but she is my age, you mm-hmm. know, like in her 20s. Mm-hmm. And I think somebody like that deserves to be able to find love. Yeah, and I think that obviously that's a very odd situation for other people to look at and i get that but like mind your business Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like it doesn't matter yeah like as long as as long as that person is a consenting adult yes oh wait what you have to press the buttons in the correct order bubby i i know and i and i did are you sure yeah it always starts at the top left okay right left See? What? I guess up? How does this make any sense? I don't know. How is it supposed to be going? Okay. Oh, look, it's glowing on the one you need to do. See? Oh. Weird. It doesn't glow enough for me to be able How'd to see. How'd you fail? Did you, like, dodge it quick enough? Oh. Uh, down, left, down, left, left. Good job. That was really hard to do. I couldn't see it because it wasn't glowing enough. If it if it would be green or something, I could tell. Yeah, I couldn't see but it at first because it wasn't glowing enough the either. The glow was barely better than just the normal light on it. I know, I agree. <laughs> okay, Eve, go up the thing. You're really hot, but I don't have time for this. Mm-hmm. There we go. The supply cap is here as well. <sighs> Let's take a breath anyway. This is a game that I think heavily needs a sequel. Would you want it to be Eve or would you want it to be another girl? I'd want it to be Eve, but if they did follow another girl, I'd still be happy that they at least continued the universe. Same. We have four of these, so is there... I- I'll just get this. But I kind of doubt Eve's story is completely done by the end of this game. Yeah, I have a hard time believing it will be, too. Like, I feel like uh, we'll probably just end up wanting more of her. Uh, I want, I want more of her right now. Yeah. Can't wait for the PC mods. The Natibas here. They look almost human. These Natibas are definitely different from the ones on the surface. A lot of them aren't even on our list of Natibas. Elder, you're keeping something from us. What is it? Oh, do you see this? There's like a heartbeat in the background. <gasps> That makes me feel sick. It's icky, huh? Yeah. It's like a baby, uh, what would you call it, incubator or something. Yeah. Icky. Well, you should pull the phone. Did you already do that? Oh, uh, no. I guess, I thought that once you activated it, the phone was on. I don't know. I just want us to pull the phone at anyway. Bottom of the heart of the infection. Ooh. Interesting. All right. Okay, Epsy daisy I don't... Oh, I, I, I missed something down there. Was that just slugs or is that gold? I think it's slugs. Well, we're going to see. It was gold. It was gold. Oh, boy, goodness. And we almost missed that guy. We did. Tumblr expansion module. Nice. Yeah, I was thinking that for... Um, for... Women... Because, you know, I asked you this question before. Uh-huh. For things that I really like that they do, I like when women wear, like, <clears throat> revealing clothes. Oh. I know that this is silly, but, like, what I mean by that is, like, they wear revealing clothes and they're not, like... They're... Bothered by the fact that they're wearing revealing clothes? Yeah, but they're not, like, you know, sleeping around with every guy. You know, I don't mean like that. You like, like when women are comfortable with their bodies and like the way that they look. Yeah, I, I like that. I don't like when women are, like really upset about like how they look and like they've been told their whole life that like their sexuality is bad and gross and that they shouldn't have it Mm -hmm. that kind of just makes me sad and that's a turn off to me Uh in in a woman when Uh it's like she's afraid of the fact that she's a woman Uh you know what i mean yeah that to me is just kind of like that's not for me Uh, but something i like that's actually like you know a adult oriented thing that women do is women who will do stuff in public but like not like against the law stuff like women oh. will like wear like a 
a back door entrance holder open oh. in public. You know what I mean? Like you mean a plug, but not for an outlet. Yeah, that's yes. So like people like that, I or like girls like that, I think that's like interesting. I like that because it's like the whoa. That's disgusting. Because it's like I I like knowing like you know that they're being you know sexual for I, you. I like when girls have um the that thing that does vibration. Oh, and you can press the button. Uh, yeah, and they give it to their partner, and their partner can press the button whenever they want. I yeah. like that. Yeah, stuff like that. It's like it's because it's more like a special thing between you and your partner. This is Silent Hill and Dead Space mixed together. <laughs> This actually reminds me directly of a thing in Dead Space. Really? Yeah, remember those guys that you'd have to shoot specific parts to kill? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. And sometimes they'd be on yeah. walls, sometimes they'd be on... Oh, those squishy things are coming towards you, the body bags. They are. Oh, no! Let's this, go! This guy's name is Maelstrom. Is that a, is that a biblical reference? A Maelstrom is just a uh, uh, storm. Oh. So not really. Nuts. I wanted it to be a biblical reference. I'm having a hard time here, Joe. They should have named this guy Goliath. And then then the little things that come out of him are his little Davids. His little Davids! Yeah! Little David sounds like a spin-off to Little Bill, but with somebody who didn't drug women. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? You can't talk about that during June. It's it's something to do Juneteenth. with Juneteenth, honey. Yeah, it's something to do with um, Bill... People of people. color. Bill people? Bill people. <laughs> what? Is that your... Oh, no. That was my PC term. That was I... the opposite of PC. Well, that was awful. I don't know what to say. Are you allowed to say black people? Or are you allowed to you say You're allowed to say black people. Believe know. it or not, we have not fallen that far as a country. I don't know what you're supposed to you say. you can't say black people. What kind of world are you living in? more melaninated people than I. Oh, that's a red flag for me, by the way. People who make everything about their race. Oh, yeah. Like, women, yeah. men, whatever. I Like, shut the hell up. Yeah, I've actually, no matter what race they are. I don't care. Life. Yeah, you're just an idiot. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen that, too, with, um... I've seen that a lot with... This is gonna sound mean. I've seen that a lot now with, like, black people on social media. Uh-oh. Where, like, they will talk about, like, how great their melanin is. And, like, mm. it's not like a, I'm proud of who I am and I'm beautiful. Which, like, to me, that's like, hey, good for you. It's more it's... like, I'm better than you and you yeah. should die. Yeah, that's that's weird to me. Like, yeah. Like, just, I don't know. This is going to be, like, the most Winnie the Pooh-ass thing I'm going to say today, probably. But, like, is it that hard for people to just be nice and not to insane? Each other, yeah. Like, I, I see, like, someone who's Asian. I'm not, like... Ugh, an Asian person. My whiteness is upset. You mean you're not like Hunter Biden saying, ooh, <laughs> the yellow girl. Okay, Jill, you can't say that. That's what he said, though. He said that in those text messages, allegedly. Allegedly, yes. But didn't he? Didn't he call no, that Asian girl, you know? Yeah, he, well, the thing was that he was um, saying that he was interested in procuring the services of women. This was years ago. Mm -hmm. And that some of those women... I thought he said that he did not want one like that. Yeah, I think so. I think he said that he... He was being non-progressive yeah. uh, uh, trafficking. So do you think that do you think that Hunter Biden is into black girls, or do you think he's only into white girls? I don't know. As far as I know, like, with the whole trial going on, he was really into drugs, and other than that, I'm not sure. Mm, that makes sense. Some very weird things in those, like, alleged text messages from him, which to me seemed... They seemed very real. Um, they did not seem just alleged. Like, it, they seemed... I'm pretty sure that a lot of those things were like, you know, hey, this is coming out from this laptop and all this stuff. And no, nobody wanted to talk about it because it was like, well, this is a conspiracy theory, but it's like... I think somebody should look into it, though. I think, in my opinion, that there might weird. be something wrong. Well, also, like, he's he was on trial at the time of recording this, like, um, for, like, a lot of, like, I believe owning a gun while like he was doing drugs and he admitted it in a book or something he admitted uh -huh. he basically put himself in this position i don't know how he admitted it but he basically put himself in this position where he outed himself for this uh -oh. and so here's the thing like rule number one of being a criminal don't out yourself as a criminal well and you know my my thing too is like with everything going <laughs> with everything going on with trump these are just bullets jill oh. with everything going on with trump um, you know, there's always a tit for tat with these political parties now, I've noticed. So it's something where it seems like, you know, they, I believe they upped the charge with Trump to a 
a federal crime, like a, um, not a misdemeanor, a felony. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the other side tries to push for something on Hunter Biden. Preservation status is good. Great. Be careful with it now. You should head back. I'll have the pod waiting for you once you go outside. <gasps> Wait. There's... There's a legacy here. A legacy? What's that? It's a device with records left by the airborne squad before me. They leave important information for the next airborne squad. I see. But why would an airborne squad come all the way here? Maybe they knew something about the Alpha or the Elder. I'll check the legacy. Is this the only surviving copy of Batman Arkham Legacy? <laughs> or WB scrapped it? Yes. Cute. Day eight after the second dive. Third record. Legacy account Raven. Remaining survivors Ripley and Anis. Anis is in a bad condition. Death is very likely at this rate. We discovered this laboratory 4.47 kilometers from the drop-off point. It seems to be a facility that studied Natibas, but it's hard to obtain accurate information due to severe contamination. However, I discovered an astonishing fact while searching through the data. Before the war we call the Final War, there was another war. It was a war fought between humanity and the androids humanity had themselves created, the so-called Andro-Ados. Humans lost the war against their own creation. The few humans who did survive hid in underground facilities, but the hunt was far from over. However, an unexpected factor turned the tide of the war. With mankind at the verge of extinction, Natiba's powerful creatures from an unknown origin appeared out of nowhere. The war with the Natibas brought about the destruction of the androids. And so, during this time, mankind was able to make its escape to the colony. From now on, I plan to investigate the origin of Natibas. Hopefully, at the origin point, I should find the elder Natiba. To anyone who may be watching, may Mother Sphere's blessings be with you. It'd be cool to play a game with Raven. Um, like a prequel? I think that would be awesome, actually. I didn't think a record like this existed. And there was another big war before the final war. I never learned about anything like that at the colony. What do you think, Adam? The history of mankind is riddled with conflict. It's hardly a surprise to hear about wars before the final war. Even so, it's strange that this wasn't passed down. I'll retrieve the legacy and go back. Wait a moment, Eve. I can pick you up with the tetrapod. Okay, I'll be waiting. <laughs> 